Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying with Jim Ashura. Today I'm going to tie another of Jack Guard size pattern. And this is going to be another dry fly. And this is Guard Sides Explorer. The hook that I have in the vise is a standard barbless dry fly hook size 16. And you could tie this 12 to 18 or even 20 if you want. Uh, the thread that I'm going to use is, this is Hemingway, this is a brown black, a uh, and the materials, we're going to use some deer, you could use elk, let me see what he says, elk, moose, or deer, natural or dyed, so you can, if you want a little hot spot there, you could use a little bit of red for the tail. Red dyed, but we're going to make this natural. And got a piece of deer hair here. I'm going to, this is a 16, so I'm only taking a very small amount. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that stuff. And then I'm just going to take the real long ones out of here. And there we go. I kind of want to leave, I don't want to put it in the hair stacker. Because I kind of want them a little bit on the uh, scattered side. And the first thing we need to do is put our thread on there. And we're going to put our base of thread and bring that back there we go now I could go ahead and put the hair on there and he wants that short but I still have you can see these longer ones here so the dark area we're gonna call the tail or the not the dark but the light brown area so we're going to make that relatively short. Put a couple to hold on to it. And don't pull them tight yet. Go ahead and wrap up. And then you can tighten it down. And the reason I like, I want these long ones here, it'll look more like a shuck with those different, those different lengths and uh, kind of, you know, scattered length there. This is a really simple fly. We'll bring that thread right back. Now I'm going to put the hackle in. And I'm going to use a natural grizzly. And this is a cape, a rooster cape feather. So a lot of times they're shorter at the tip than at the top so you have to be careful of that give it that crew cut and we're gonna go ahead and tie this in it's simple and it's quick it actually reminds me of a bomber almost like a bomber except there's no hair sticking out the front but this is a an attractor for when you don't see any hatch it's a good attractor now the body you can make it any color and he suggests olive is the best so we're going to use olive and I have a little bit of olive crystal dub here turn my vise over so I can get my fingers up there. Then we could go ahead and make a nice tight noodle there. And we're going to go ahead and get it right to the back first. There we go. And we're going to wind that right up. And I'm going to 
bring that back just a little bit. There we go. Now we take our hackle pliers on our hackle. And we're going to go ahead and give this three or four wraps. I always turn it so I can see the barb of the hook on that first wrap. Right around the back and then palmer it forward. Just like you would with with a Griffith's gnat. So this is more or less like a Griffith's gnat with a deer hair tail. And we come to the top and we're going to tie that off. I'm going to put a couple of wraps in front. And then I can break that off. Careful on breaking it off. Sometimes you it breaks at the wrong spot. Now I'm going to just put a half hitch in there just to make sure that the hackles are back away from the eye. Just a double half hitch. There we go. Now I can take my whip finish. And like I said, going to be a good searching pattern. And it looks like I caught a couple of hackles there. I'll just trim them off. Cut that thread. And we'll put a little bit of head cement on there. Try not to get it in the eye. And of course, as always, if you get it in the eye, just grab a feather off your table. And put it through the eye. That feather, oh, almost too big. But that cleans the eye out. And here we have Jack Guardside's Explorer Pattern. Good dry fly. This is going to float well because you have that deer hair all the way along the shank. Which is going to add more flotation. And you got nice uh, palmered hackle in there. And I hope that you learned something from this video. I hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Please visit my sponsors and let them know that I sent you. Leave comments, questions, suggestions. If you'd like to purchase any flies from me, go to etsy.com slash shop slash the flyman gym. And if you don't see it there, just send me a message. Tell me what you're looking for. And I'll get right back to you and we'll figure things out. And most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.